and chill. Century County EMS still needs to get out and help those who may be in a threatening situation. KSN's Derek Lytle spent the morning with paramedics and EMTs. And Derek, they tell you uh, the weather is more than just a, a physical challenge. Jeff, for many EMS first responders here in Cedric County, they say not knowing where the call will come from can make preparing for cold weather tough. They take calls from highways to houses, all environments, which means layering up for any situation is necessary. Making sure medicine stocks are full and things like the ambulance's cardiac moni monitor are charged are important before heading out in the extreme temperatures. The back of the ambulance also has a warmer for IV fluids, which they can use to get a patient's body temperature up. Start off the day by making sure all the crews have what they need in terms of equipment and especially right now with it being so cold we have extra blankets that we can pass out to make sure that they have everything for a patient when they run across them. She says the back of the ambulance is colder than you might think so blankets can keep patients warm on their trip to the hospital. The ambulance also carries oxygen masks and breathing treatments for those in the cold who may be experiencing a shortness of breath. Here for you, Derek Weidel, KSN News 3.